Okay. So the critical thing here is that the doubler can't make any assumptions really about partner's hand because the, the double is essentially assuming that south passes here. Um, west is forced to bid so they don't have to have any kind of a suitable hand. So unless East is really huge, yeah, but he's got perfect shape for it, uh, one four four four, Christina. I, I mean, I don't think you can criticise East for doubling. All I'm trying to get across here is that they mustn't be tempted to do. Even even more than 17, perhaps, um, uh, Douglas. I, you know, you've got to you've got to be huge because you can't assume that West has anything here. West doesn't have to have anything. They could have a Yarborough and four three 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 shape. Uh, you know, I mean, they've got a five count here, which is more than um, East can expect. The critical thing is that you need to have a sensible understanding between East West here as to how weak East can be if they have this kind of perfect shape for a takeout double. You know, if East West agree that they must be at least a 14 count, then that's fine. Um, you know, West can, can invite or just compete as he sees fit.
But East can't assume that West has anything. That's the critical thing. It's not like when East has opened one no Trump and South has overcalled something. It's vaguely similar in terms of West being able to anticipate a degree of support for anything that they bid in the East hand. They know that East won't have a shortage and they know that East has a fixed range of points. Here, West is being forced to bid something over the double. That's the critical difference. So they don't have to have anything. They may have, but the transfer takes care of that. If they've got a strong hand or a hand worth an invitation, they can bid on over the transfer or go via two no trumps to invite. Um, so if they've got a decent five card suit and a, a degree of points, they can they can bid on once East has accepted the transfer to three hearts here. But East can't really jump the gun unless they're absolutely huge. A lot stronger than they are here. Right, one point there, just in case you haven't quite clocked it, in the last sentence. If North, as here, opens two spades, East doubles, and South passes, now we're in transfer Levensold territory. And it's best to use transfer Levensold, because transfer Levensold solves a lot of, a lot of the problems that Levensold has or some of them, um, in terms of being able to invite and so on. But if, say, North had opened two hearts, East doubles, and South bids two spades, were not now in transfer Levensol country. You're better off playing normal Levensol rather than transfer Levensol. If South redoubles over the double, then we're still in transfer Levensol country. But if they bid something, and, and two hearts double two spades is the only time when transfer Leb gets turned off. Because half the point, if they bid two spades, half the point in playing any kind of Levensol in terms of cubits and so on has actually gone. Um... but best not to play transfer eleven soul if it goes two hearts double two spades to respond there. So you don't have to you don't have to play transfer eleven soul here, but I would recommend that you do. If you're uncomfortable with transfer eleven soul, then please by all means use normal eleven soul when partner doubles their week two opening. Well, but now we're at the three level, so so it doesn't matter. I mean, Levensol's out the window. So if it goes two spades, double three spades, Levensol doesn't enter the equation. Eliana. And I mean, that applies over any week two. If it goes two diamonds, week, double three diamonds, we're past... If, if, I mean, even if South bids two no trumps over this double, Levensol is out the window because we don't have the two no trump bid available to West. So Levensol only ever applies if 
west here has a two-note trump bid available. If the bidding's gone past that, then you just have to bid naturally. So here we've had a week two opening in hearts, double, and now partners made a slow qubit of hearts. So they've got four card spades, they've got a heart stop, probably a decent heart stop, given that they're sat under the two heart bidder. They probably have a double stop in hearts here, um, something like, you know, king, queen, ten, or ace-queen okay so when it goes two hearts pass pass double you need to have a decent understanding as to whether fourth in hand who is doubling may only be protecting or whether they have a full blown take out double so th i mean that's i can't i can't preempt that and say that this is how you should be this is how you should do it um you just have to have an understanding between the partnership as to um, what the minimum values for this double are and indeed whether you would protect in these circumstances. Levensol does allow a degree of flexibility here because East might invite in case West is just protecting if it goes two spades, pass, pass, double from west. East might invite rather than forcing. Um, and that would take care of, you know, west would need to understand that, that east will know that west might be protecting and therefore that sets the sort of minimum standard for west's double if they are only really protecting. Let's see if I've got another example hand. Just bear with me a second. This is a bit similar to the last hand. They'd have to be very, very strong, Sanya. It's the bottom line. If, if, if they just have an average single-suited hand, they're better off overcalling rather than doubling. So if you double and then ignore Levensol and just bid your suit, now it's a bit like doubling over a one-level opening and then bidding. You're now sort of, you know, 19 plus because you're too strong for an overcall. So yes, you can, but, uh, and yes, the doubler can ignore Leb if they are, re if they really do have a monster, rather than risking partner passing out three clubs. So they've got a monster, you know, 20 point hand with six card hearts and north opens two spades now they might double and if partner bids two no trumps they bid three hearts if they bid three clubs transfer to diamonds they could bid three hearts and now this is this is saying I'm not prepared to just settle for, for playing in diamonds here I've got a monster 20, 20 plus hand or 19 plus hand um, bid accordingly 
Okay. Okay. Now, where was I? So yes, potentially, if it goes from ops, one spade past, two spades, double, you can use Levensol here. But this is more covered by um, a different lesson in this series that comes a bit later on in the series to do with Levensol in any competitive sequence. I wouldn't, to be honest with you, I wouldn't recommend playing Levensol at the one level. As I said there, Jason Hackett and I tried it. Um, we played around with it for a while and eventually discarded it because whilst two no trumps isn't a very useful resting place, um, uh, one no trump is. And one no trump is a bid that it's very difficult to do without because sometimes you hamstring partner if they're unable to bid one no trump naturally. Um, one no trumps are much more useful bid than two no trumps. Okay, back to this hand. So we're playing transfer eleven sol here. So this is game forcing second suit. West doesn't make any, sorry, East doesn't make any particular move here because they've, they've already made their takeout double, so they've bid their hand. Um, now, West puts on some pressure. This is the five club bid is obviously denying having a spade control. So if East doesn't have a spade control, they just have to sign off in five hearts. But because they do have a degree of control in spades, they can bid. Oops, sorry. East, East can now afford to bid five diamonds since that's probably, that's showing first or second round control of spades and the diamond control. So West knows exactly what's going on here. Um, he knows that the East West are playing with a 30 point deck, um, probably. Uh, since he's made the takeout double in the first place. Um, and even if East is fairly minimum for their takeout double, um, he knows that East does have some kind of control in spades. And uh, the Ace of Diamonds. And almost certainly other stuff as well.
So any questions on on that hand? So transfer to hearts, show the second suit. East just bids game because that's all he can do. And now West starts putting a push on towards slam. The five diamond bid guarantees some kind of spade control. It doesn't have to be first round. But first or second round control of spades. And... Uh, And a diamond control. But, Sanya... I, oh, sorry, yes. My apologies. Yeah, six hearts. Sorry, six hearts, not six spades. Sanya, potentially, any bid is a sign-off anyway, unless it's obviously invitational. If West bids three diamonds here, it's potentially a sign-off. East can't make any assumption about how strong West is. Which is why over three diamonds, you know, unless East is really, really strong, they have to just bid three hearts. East doesn't even have, West doesn't even have to have five card hearts. Then you have to have four card hearts. As I showed you with the first hand, West may be stuck here with, um, you know, four card spades and four three 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 shape and weak and nothing. So West may be desperately just trying to find some kind of a playable fit. Okay. Anybody else? So, I, I mean, essentially, East has to assume that it's a sign-off until West shows otherwise. So the four-club bid here shows otherwise. That's now game-forcing with five-card hearts and at least four-card clubs. Must be. And it must be five-card hearts here. If they have four-card hearts... They would do some kind of a cubit, of, you know, a slow or a fast cubit of spades, depending on their spade holding. If they were game forcing, if they wanted to invite in hearts, they would be a slow three hearts over over the double. So it would go two no trumps, three clubs, three hearts. That's now invitational in hearts, rather than forcing. So it's like one no trump, two x. One no trump, two spades, for example. A three diamonds is either weak or it's game forcing, depending on whether partner bids on over the three diamonds, three heart transfer. If they bid a slow three hearts, then it's invitational. So in that sense, the, situa the way that Levensol works is exactly the same. Um, it's just uh, different in terms of what the doubler can expect from partner. They can't assume that partner has anything. That's the critical thing that you must remember. Over the double, um, Charlene... Over the double, no, it's okay. Over the double, West bids two no trumps, East bids three clubs, and now West bids three hearts. That's a slow three hearts. So that's in, always invitational in hearts. Okay? No problem. I would say 19 plus um, 
19 plus if balanced or single suited. If they're if they're balanced with a decent stop in in part in opener's suit. Uh, if they're 16 to 18 balanced, they just bid two no trumps, and that shows 16 to 18 balanced. If they double and then bid no trumps, then it's 19 plus. If you're single suited, again, I would I would happily overcall with anything up to about an 18 count. Because again, you can't assume that partner has anything. Okay. Um, doubling and then bidding, I normally take as about 19 plus. Um, very often, considerably more. Because you now inevitably at least at the three level, if not the four level. So you've got to be pretty good if you're going to force partner to do that. Okay. Okay, so just what I was saying there before, um, uh, you can use Levensol. Um, if we, if Ops have opened conventional two-seated openings, such as Lucas 2s, Tartan 2s, and so on. Um, I do, to some extent, cover that in a lesson towards the end of the, the Super Precision course, when we're dealing with defending against two-seated overcalls and two-seated openings. Um, the thing to bear in mind is, is that if you are going to use Levensol or transfer Levensol when they've made a conventional two-seated opening um, that you do potentially have uh, not only one but two qubits available if they've shown two specific suits um, whereas if they've only specified one suit then you've only got one qubit available. So it's essentially, it's the same considerations that we were looking at last week in terms of if you qubit the more ex or the more expensive of their suits, given what they've opened, then uh, you're promising a stop in the suit of theirs that you've bypassed. Anybody not sure what I'm meaning there? If you didn't come last week, then all I can suggest is that you look at uh, the web page on my precision site, and that does explain um, how we how we use Levensol against artificial interference against one no trump. Um, if you read that, then what I've just said should become slightly clearer. Sorry. Three clubs on the brain. So I think north here with a, a double by south vulnerable, I can assume that, that south will have at least a 12 or 13 count minimum. So north has a 
a nice balanced 13 count they've got a definite double stop in spades um, and uh, against pretty much any um, east-west distribution so he just bids a slow three no trumps that denies having four card hearts um, shows the double stop in spades and effectively game forcing but it just the three no trumps is just to play Okay, so that's it for transfer 11 sol after a takeout double of their week two opening. Um, I'm going to move on unless anybody else has got some questions. And please note, we're definitely talking about Levensol here. We're not talking about transfer Levensol. Uh, you can't, you can't, I suppose you could play transfer Levensol, but uh, I've never seen an advantage in doing it. Let me stress one thing, if Responder makes any kind of a fourth suit force, it's always game forcing. Just the same as if Responder reverses, it's always game forcing. If Opener makes a fourth suit force, it's encouraging, but it's not always game forcing. Go on, Ellie. vast hush descends over the room while Ellie types. Um, I would always transfer to the higher ranking. But again, you have to decide, Eliana, whether you've got a game forcing hand or not. If you only have an invitational hand, then pretty much you have to choose one of your suits and invite in that suit. Similarly, if you've only got a weak hand that wants to compete, you have to choose one of your suits because you can't... If you, if you transfer into one suit and then show another suit, that's always game forcing. Just as if it goes one no trump, two diamonds, two hearts, three clubs, unopposed. That's always game forcing. Unless you're a passed hand. So if you're a passed hand, um, partner can, can judge that, that you, you can't possibly have a hand worth a game force. Or it's very unlikely. So if you, if you do have a hand worth a game force, 
then yes, transfer into the higher or the longer of your two suits and then bid the second suit. So if, if the two suits are the same length, transfer into the higher and then bid the lower because that's always cheaper. If you only need to want to compete, you just have to choose one of your suits. And again, if you only are worth an invitation, again, choose one of your suits, ignore the second, and just make a slow bid into your uh, the suit that you've decided to, to invite in. Okay, so back to three suited sequences. There aren't a huge number of these. I've listed the main ones there. Um, and they won't always be um, where it's responder to bid. So there are some there like one heart, two clubs, two hearts, two spades. Here, responder has reversed into two spades. But it's a three suited sequence, but we're still at the two level. Um, I, uh, I did make mention of this when we looked at one diamond, that the partnership has to decide whether a sequence like one diamond, one spade, two clubs is a three suited sequence. Because normally the two club rebid by opener, if you're playing precision this is, if you're not playing precision then yes of course it's a three suited sequence, but because one diamond doesn't always show a diamond suit, the two club bid, if it goes one diamond, one spade, two clubs, the two club bid will normally be a hand with four card club, four card diamonds and five card clubs. But it might occasionally be a hand with weak six card clubs that aren't good enough for the two club precision opening. But that's quite rare. Most of the time it's, it's four card diamonds and five card clubs. So you can choose, and I do, to play that sequence as three suited. So over one diamond, one spade, two clubs, two hearts is the, force, the fast fourth suit force, and two no trumps, three clubs, three hearts is the slow fourth suit force. What I'm trying to get across here is that if you play Levensol in these three suited sequences, you very often find that you actually have two different kinds of four suit force available. If you do have two, two four suit forces available, the slow one is looking for stops in the four suit for the purpose of playing in three no trumps. But the fast four suit force is wanting clarification about partner's distribution and it implies that you you are going to end up agreeing one of partner's suits so take that first sequence the second sequence there um, one heart one spade two clubs Two diamonds is the, four, the fast fourth suit force here. So two diamonds is saying, okay, I'm potentially interested in hearts or clubs. Um, uh, but possibly even, I'm, I'm wanting to know if you've got some delayed spade support. Can you please clarify the distribution of your hand here? Whereas if it goes one heart, one spade, two clubs, two no trumps, three clubs, three diamonds. That's the slow four suit force. And this is now saying, I, I'm not very strong in diamonds. Um, have you got a diamond stop to help me out? If so, bid three no trumps. If you haven't got a diamond stop, then can you please clarify your hand as to whether you've got some delayed spade support whether you've got extra length in hearts or extra length in clubs.
Right, let's just look at a an example here. So again, we're playing precision. So, th so this is a fast full suit force, two hearts. The slow fast, the slow full suit force would be two no trumps from east, three clubs from west, three hearts. And that would be just interested in playing in three no trumps. But here east wants some clarification about west distribution. So now this is effectively showing 5143 or maybe 6043 shape. Possibly even 5053. But it's more important clearly for West to show his three card club support, even if he has extra length in spades or extra length in diamonds. Because the three club bid promises a shortage in hearts effectively. So because East here, Responder, has made the four suit force of two hearts, the whole sequence is game forcing. So four clubs is simply saying, okay, we're going to play in four clubs, I want to start Q bidding. If East had, and so this is the four clubs is slam invitational. If East just wanted to play in five clubs, they would bid five clubs here. Because West is relatively limited, East is totally unlimited here. So four clubs is pushing for a slam. So West has already shown effectively a heart shortage um, there'd be no reason for them to if they had 5233 three shape for example um, they wouldn't be bidding two diamonds two diamonds is definitely a suit so when they bid three clubs they must have a heart shortage so there's no need for west to, to cubid hearts first because east already knows they've got a heart shortage So, essentially, five diamonds is is uh, committing us to six clubs. So already we're thinking in terms of a grand slam here. So for East to bid five diamonds, they pretty much have to have the Ace of Hearts. This is just conf confirming the control of hearts, i.e. the singleton. And again, five spades is showing a spade control. Now a specific Grand Slam force from West wanting to make sure that uh, the clubs are reasonably solid or solid enough for the purposes of seven.
so the thing to take away from this hand is is that uh, forget about the cubids because that's just stuff. Um, the fast four suit force is wanting is not interested rem remotely in playing in three no trumps. You may end up playing in three no trumps, but it's primarily interested in. Uh, what West's exact distribution is. In other words, if they've got five card diamonds, East may well end up wanting to play in six or seven diamonds. If, on the other hand, West has got delayed club support, they want to hear about it. If they've got no club support and they've got something in hearts, then they'll probably end up playing in three no trumps. So if West was, if you if you swap around West's heart and club suits here, give uh, West king to three hearts and the singleton club, then they would just bid three no trumps over two hearts. Anybody got any questions? So the bidding's gone one heart, two clubs, two diamonds. And you hold that hand, ace to three spades, king x in hearts, jack x in diamonds, and ace king to six clubs. Now you're just wanting, the ace of spades isn't quite enough. Uh, you don't want to chance three no trumps if that's the only spade stop that you have. Um, especially if partner's got a singleton spade. So now you're interested in playing in three no trumps. So now you might make a slow fourth suit force in spades. So over two diamonds, it would go two no trumps, leb, three clubs, force, three spades. This is just asking partner to bid three no trumps if they do have a spade stop. If they don't have a spade stop, then they just give the most common sense further description of their hand that they can come up with. But the slow four suit force is specifically aimed at getting to three no trumps, and it's wanting partner to bid three no trumps if they have a stop in that four suit. Whereas the fast four suit forces are probably not interested in playing three and three no trumps. You may end up playing there, but primarily it's asking for a further description of partner's distribution, not necessarily their ability to stop some other suit or the fourth suit. So the, the, the difference is, 
the fast four suit force is very often based on support for one of part your partner's suits but a slow four suit force doesn't normally have more than a decent tolerance or it's looking to play in three no trumps rather than five of a minor or four of a major because it's cheaper so you may have support for partner suit but you're worried about the fourth suit and, and you don't want to play in five clubs or five diamonds because you need to be really quite strong between the two hands to do that whereas if you're going to be able to run one of partner's suits you don't need to be quite as strong to, to end up in three no trumps to make five per minor you nearly need to be strong enough to bid a slam okay so now we come on to the next facet of, of Levensol in three suited sequences so again imagine that the bidding's gone one spade two diamonds two hearts the two diamonds is essentially forcing to two no trumps and here you've got a nice 15 count so over two hearts you could bid a, f a fast three diamonds which is definitely forcing because it's a fast three no try a fast three diamonds um, but if you bid a slow three diamonds you're saying listen I'm sorry I can't I've got a hand that was worth pushing you to, to two no trumps but I can't honestly support spades or diamonds and I'm not that strong that I want to force to gain. So over one heart, sorry, one spade, two diamonds, two hearts, a slow three diamonds is saying, listen, I've got long diamonds. Um, you know, I've got a hand that was worth pushing you as, at least as far as two no trumps, but I don't really have much more than that. If you've got a lower range hand, then just pass three diamonds because I can't support either major. Um, doesn't stop opener from from bidding three no trumps if they've got the club stopped and a degree of tolerance for for diamonds but the slow three diamonds is a warning to opener that that responder is limited here that they don't have a lot to spare for their two diamond bid So this is an example here where you might play a slow three diamonds. It's gone, again, it's gone one spade. You can't honestly not show the diamonds. You're a bit too strong, assuming that you're not a past hand. You're a bit too strong to just do the weak takeout into diamonds over one spade. So one spade, two diamonds is okay. Um, over two hearts, you now would probably bid a slow three diamond saying I don't have much to spare for my two diamond bid I can't support either major um, but I do have um, at least six card diamonds um, and again if opener has a degree of support for diamonds and the club stopped they might bid three no trumps because responder won't be sat there with a six count they will have at least ten I would suggest but this is a candidate for a slow three diamonds rather than a fast three diamonds and the slow three diamonds definitely says I can't support either of your suits you could tolerate spades here but you certainly can't support hearts and the upshot of three diamonds is saying pretty much my hand is going to be pretty valueless to you if you've only got limited tolerance for diamonds we've pretty much got to play this hand in diamonds rather than one of your suits
<laughs> well, don't keep them to yourself, Sanya. The thing, the thing with this is to try it out. If you're in a three-suited sequences, in other words, it's, it's, and when I say you've bid three suits, I mean you've shown three suits between you. Yes. Um, you know, one club, one diamond, one heart, one spade is not a three-suited sequence. Because, especially if you're playing precision, because... Uh, um, the one diamond bid doesn't promise diamonds. So that's a two-suited sequence. But if it goes, for example, one diamond... Well, again, I, I've ex explained this is potentially an issue. One diamond, one spade, two clubs. Responder has shown spades, and normally, opener now will have four-card diamonds and five-card clubs. So you can treat that as a, as a three-suited sequence, nine times out of ten. In fact, probably 95 times out of 100, that's going to be a three-suited sequence. So, statistically, you're better off treating it as three-suited. So now, you're at the two level, and you, you're in a three-suited sequence. So, Levensol applies. So, any bids at the two level are just competitive. They're not forcing, they're not invitational. Uh, any over two clubs of one diamond, one spade, two clubs bids slow bids at the three level what makes the difference Sanya? Oh yes you must be at the two level Yes. I, I mean, in practice, playing precision, um, there aren't any three-suited sequences that are at the one level. If you're playing two over one or, or um, standard American, then, then you can have a three-suited sequence that ends at the one level. But playing precision, they, you can't. Um, and I mean, I mean, for example, playing precision, if it goes two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, this is not a three-suited sequence. Because the two diamond bid is a forcing inquiry. It doesn't show diamonds. So we haven't bid, and also we're in a conventional sequence of bids. It's, these are natural, natural bidding where we, we don't already have a set meaning for two no trumps. Where two no trumps, if you weren't playing Levensol, would just be showing, you know, sort of invitational balanced hand. So playing precision, there, there aren't any that end at the one level. Um, some of them end at the three level, in which case lead doesn't apply anyway. So it's only if we have three suited sequences that end where the third suit is bid at the two level and two no trumps is available as Levensol. Um, so one spade, two clubs, two hearts is a three suited sequence ending at the two level. So Levensol applies here. So what I was trying to get at before with one of the, the previous examples is over a sequence like one spade two clubs two hearts now two spades is just agreeing spades and showing a preference that's not three suited is it you've only bid two suits Sanya you know one heart one spade one no trump Normally showing two five three three shape and a relatively minimum hand. If you were three five three two or three five two three, you're more likely to be bidding two spades over one spade because you've got the roughing value in your doubleton, 
and you've got three card spade support and we don't worry too much especially at the one or two level in playing in a Moisium fit we're a little bit more wary about playing in Moisium fit at game level <laughs> Okay, I think let's just move on a little bit. In precision, there's not many of these sequences. There's more of them if you're playing standard American ACL or two over one. But if we have a three suited natural sequence that's where the third suit has been bid at the two level, then fast four suit forces are asking about distribution, slow four suit forces are inquiring about partners holding in the four suit. Both are 100% forcing to game if the four suit force is made by responder and it's in practice it's normally going to end up going to game if it's by opener. But if you're playing precision and responder hasn't shown necessarily a strong hand then um, it may well not be game forcing if opener makes the four suit force when we're talking about where we're in this leaven soul situation where two no trumps would be leaven soul after the third suit has been bid. Now, fast bids at the three level tend to be strong and forcing, whereas the slower bids are either invitational or just giving preference, depending on whether or not you could have given preference at the, t at the two level. So if it goes one spade, two clubs, two hearts, now two spades is just showing preference for spades. And if and it's not showing a stronger hand than the two club bid would promise. In other words, we're not we're not forced to go further. The the two on the other hand, you could argue that the two club bid is forcing to two no trumps. So you need to decide whether that kind of a sequence, whether opener can pass two spades if they're minimum. One spade, two clubs, two hearts, two spades. Um, a slow three spades a fast three spades is is essentially game forcing and wanting to cubid um, a fast four spades is a two a game a delayed game raise that's a mild slam invitation um, Whereas a slow three spades here is just invitational in spades. So one spade, two clubs, two hearts, two no trumps, three clubs, three spades is invitational in spades. One spade, two clubs, two hearts. three hearts forcing because if if responder didn't want to force 
given that they've forced the bidding to go to two no trumps anyway with their two club bid a slow three hearts is just saying we'll, we'll play in hearts um, I don't have much to spare for my uh, two club bid if your minimum you can pass three hearts but I couldn't pass two hearts because two clubs was forcing to two no trumps same applies to some extent with the two spade bid if it goes one spade two clubs two hearts two spades any questions Fast four suit forces don't have to be at the three level. If you can make them at the two level, and there are a few sequences even in precision where you can, um, if you can make them at the two level, then do so. Bearing in mind that any four suit force by responder is automatically game forcing. So you don't have to, to jump shift into the four suit at the three level if you can bid it at the, the two level. So one heart, one spade, two clubs. Two diamonds is a game forcing four suit force by Respondo. You don't need to jump to three diamonds to do it. Okay, uh, this this essentially is the same as almost any variety of lemon salt in any situation. That clubs is always a problem. That that you don't have um, two four suit forces available when the four suit is clubs. So if it goes one heart, one spade, two diamonds. Now three clubs has to do double duty. So it's just a, a generic four suit force and partner just has to give you the best further description of their hand of, of their hand that they can. There's no differentiation between um, fast four suit forces that, that want a further description of openers distribution and a slow four suit force that's interested in stops for the purposes of three no trumps. Here, three clubs has to do double duty, and um, opener just has to decide how best to describe their hand. And I mean, any four suit force is is essentially asking for a further description of partner's hand. The nice thing about slow and fast four suit forces is that we can there are nuances um, in terms of what responder or partner is really after. But where it's where the four suit is clubs, you don't have that chance. So the three, the fast three club um, four suit force has to do double duty. Yes, if if it's not a silly question at all, Sanya. I just didn't think it was even <laughs> particularly worth bothering about it. Um, Clearly, if responder is a passed hand, um, the four suit force is never a four suit force because opener is limited here um, by the um, 11 to 15 opening. Um, so if it's, um, if supposing it goes pass one heart one spade, two clubs, 
two diamonds. I would suggest that this is a spade diamond two suitor, and it's not. Um, it's probably five five in spades and diamonds. Given that um, responder is a past hand. Uh, there's no sense really of it being a fourth suit force because if responders are past suit as a fourth if responders are past hand unless res, unless opener has shown that they're maximum we can't possibly look be looking at game here so supposing it goes um one heart one spade three clubs by opener now it's slightly different because now opener has shown that they're maximum in 5-5 five five. and so we can be in game territory so now three diamonds is a force a four suit force but it's a generic one because we're at the three level we can't have a slow and a fast four suit force there is only a four suit force um, and this is, I would suggest, implying either that you've got a degree of support for, if it goes one heart, one spade, three clubs, you've got a degree of support for clubs, um, but you are worried about diamonds, um, and so you want partner to have a diamond stop. Uh, and if they don't, you're probably going to end up playing in clubs. Because if you had spade support, delayed spade support, you would just give preference to spades. Okay, Sanya? Anybody else got any questions about that? You <laughs> oh, I'm sure somebody could. Okay, and, and when I say this, I'm talking about not just responders' suits, but potentially openers' suits. And we'll see more about this when we start looking at reverses in a minute. Um, so if you can just give preference at the two level then a slow return to the salute the suit at the three level is invitational whereas a fast return to the suit at the three level is definitely forcing but if you can't give preference at the two level then a slow return to uh, your suit or partners, one of partners' suits at the three level is less encouraging than a fast return to it. Again, if you're returning to one of your suits or, or one of partner suits, there's no sense of showing or denying. That doesn't enter the equation here. The slow ways are generally less encouraging than the fast ways. So if you return, if you make a slow return to your suit, at, if you're a responder particularly, a slow return to your suit at the three level, where you couldn't have done it at the two level, um, is is less encouraging and um, tends to be denying the ability to support one of partner suits. So supposing it goes one heart, one spade, two clubs. Now two spades is just saying I've got long spades I can't go any further 
you're only with one spade in the first place. So, so two spades here is drop dead. Just says, just pass two spades. I can't support hearts or clubs. Um, I don't have the strength, but I do have six card spades. Probably. Um, I can't support anything else. And I can't. I don't have the ability to make any kind of a stronger bid than just returning to spades. But now, if it goes one heart, one spade, two clubs, if you make a slow three spades, two no trumps, three clubs, three spades, this is now invitational in spades because you could have signed off at the two level. So the slow bid is invitational in spades. Similarly, a fast three spades is more encouraging. This is almost forcing. In fact, some people would play it as forcing. So one heart, one spade, two clubs, three spades. It's saying, listen, I've just got long, strong spades and, and a strong hand. Let's just bid on on that assumption. Whereas slow three spades is saying, I've got an invitational hand, I've got nice... Um, probably six card spades you pretty much need to have a six card suit in, a, in any of these because partners shown two suits and um, if you're going to insist on your single suitor it implies that you don't have any support for either of partners suits which means you probably have six cards in yours otherwise you could probably give preference especially if you've got a weak hand. So just to clarify here, suppose it started one heart, one spade, two clubs. So two diamonds is the fast four suit force. That's wanting clarification of openers distribution two hearts just shows preference prefers hearts to clubs two spades is single suited drop dead I've just got long spades can't support hearts or clubs three clubs is obviously invitational in clubs A fast three hearts is, again, you, you decide here. I, I, I mean, each partnership can decide. Um, one spade doesn't promise any particular strength. So uh, you could play one heart, sorry, three hearts. A fast three hearts is preemptive, but you can play it as forcing. Um, but I would tend to make a, uh, a four suit first force a force suit force first if I wanted to create a game forcing sequence. So three hearts preemptive. But if it had gone uh, one heart, two clubs, two diamonds, now um, responders shown a hand at least worth uh, two no trumps here by bidding the two over one. So it's less likely that the three hearts, a three heart bid over two diamonds is preemptive. It's more likely to be strongly invitational. Um, similarly, uh, a fast three spades, strongly invitational, implying at least a minimum tolerance because it's because it's fast, you're implying a better tolerance for opener's suit or opener's suits. The slow three spades is invitational, but implies a lack of tolerance for hearts. And a slow three diamonds is the, four, the slow four suit force asking about diamonds for the purpose of playing in three no trumps. Slow three no trumps obviously is just to play, uh, promising diamond stops or stop. And over one heart, one spade, two clubs, 
a slow three hearts is obviously invitational in hearts. Again, if you're going to play a fast three hearts as strongly invitational, you can play a slow three hearts as mildly invitational. If you play a fast three hearts as preemptive, then a slow three hearts has to do double duty. And if you want to force, you go via the fast four suit force and then support hearts. Any questions? Oh, sorry, I showed you this one. Right, forget this one. Okay, lastly, uh, I'm going to push on a bit here because otherwise we won't get any practice hands in before 11 o'clock. Now, this use of Levensol, essentially, uh, all most reverses end up being three suited sequences as well. Most reverses that end up at the two level, um, there is one in precision which isn't a three suited sequence, which is one heart, one no trump, two spades. Um, pretty much all of the others are three suited sequences um, if it's a reverse at the two level. And, and a lot of people, a lot of people, if a lot of people play good, bad, three, two, no trumps, which is essentially eleven sol. Um, so, if we're talking about reverses at the two level, we're almost always um, not exclusively, uh, but we're normally talking about opener making the reverse. There are some in precision, um, for example, one diamond, one heart, one no trump, two spades. Um, uh, there are a few one diamond sequences where, where responder ends up reversing at the two level. One diamond, two clubs, two diamonds, two spades is another one. Um, but very often it's it's going to be opener reversing. Um, so one diamond, two clubs, two spades uh, is a reverse. So in these circumstances, uh, whether it's, uh, and I mean, again, the only time when it's not a three-suited sequence is one heart, one no trump, two spades. Um, that's the only one that springs to mind. Uh, but any reverse at the two level by opener or responder allows Levensol. And the, the main inference here is that the two no trump three club sequence allows uh, partner to give preference at the three level without implying any extra strength. In other words, it allows them to try and sign off at the three level in um, either their suit, if it's lower ranking, um, which it will usually be, uh, or to sign off in partner's lower ranking suit. So for example, one heart, one no trump, two spades, which I've already mentioned, is the two suited sequence with, with a reverse. Now, two no trumps, eleven sol, three clubs forced, three hearts, is just giving preference to hearts. It's not implying a degree of support for hearts. It's just saying, I prefer hearts to spades. I don't have anything else better to suggest. But if it goes... Um, 
one heart, two clubs, two spades by opener. Again, this is four, five at least in the re in the majors. Um, now again, a slow three hearts from responder is just saying I'm not madly keen here. I don't, you know, I was almost stretching with my two club bid. Uh, I prefer hearts. Whereas a fast three hearts says I definitely prefer hearts to spades, and and a fast three hearts is a forward going move. Whereas a slow three hearts in those circumstances is essentially a sign off, unless. Um, uh, opener really has, you know, a super max opening. Um, but similarly, one heart, one no trump, two spades, three spades. Um, uh, definitely, at least strongly invitational. Because two spades isn't forcing. It must be. It's almost forcing three spades here. Because a slow three spades would be, um, I'm worth an invitation. I prefer spades to hearts. Uh, but two spades isn't forcing. So any any support for spades here is going to be at least mildly invitational. Take another situation, say one diamond, one spade, two hearts. This is a reverse. In fact, this is probably a better example. One diamond, one spade, two, two hearts is a reverse, showing four card uh, hearts and five card or longer diamonds. So over two hearts, two spades is just drop dead, I've got long spades, same as normal, um, I can't support either red suit. Over two hearts, three hearts, uh, again you decide with your partner whether you want to play that as strongly invitational or forcing. But bear in mind that in all these situations, like one diamond, one spade, two hearts, You've got a four suit force available in clubs to create a forcing sequence. So you could bid three clubs, wait for partner's response, and then support hearts. And that's going to be a forcing sequence. So if it goes one diamond, one spade, two hearts, three clubs, four suit force, three diamonds, I've got maybe six card diamonds um, probably don't have a club stop now three hearts is definitely game forcing agreeing hearts so there's no need to play the fast raise in hearts here as being forcing so you can differentiate between a slow three hearts being mildly invitational and a fast three hearts being strongly invitational. Okay, where are we up to? Hmm. Yes. The other thing to bear in mind is, is that there are some sequences that, that aren't natural. And if they're not natural, then all of what I've talked about today is out the window. So one heart, one of trump, two spades, three clubs is gamma in hearts. Three diamonds is gamma in spades. Again, this is something that we haven't really covered yet, but you'll see that they aren't they aren't really available as natural bids. Yes, 
Yes, that's the other thing, is that if opener has reversed, they've already shown a maximum hand. Who are you calling John, Sanya? <laughs> so, so if he goes one heart, one no trump, two spades, the difference between mildly invitational and strongly invitational is blurred because opener's already shown an upper range maximum hand. Otherwise, they wouldn't have bid two spades. They'd have bid something else. So again, you need to discuss with your partner what you're looking for with either of those in terms of what extra stuff you want opener to have before they bid for spades. Maybe it's to do with shape, maybe it's to do with controls. with me a second yeah that's the thing to remember I mean, again we haven't particularly come to this uh, until we look at the asking bids in fact it won't come until after we've looked at the asking bids um, we revisit the major suit openers and two clubs and so on um, the reason why the fast three spades, after one heart, one no trump, two spades, the reason why the fast three spades is only strongly invitational is that if responder has a game forcing hand that wants to support spades, they've got an easy, cheap way of doing it, which is to bid three diamonds, which is asking about open spades. Similarly, if they have a game-forcing hand that wants to agree hearts, they can just bid three clubs. And those are asking bids in opener's first and second suit. Um, so that takes game-forcing hands out of the equation. So the, th the fast three spades only needs to be strongly invitational and the slow three spades is mildly invitational because anything better than that would go via the asking bid and if you're again if you're really not remotely interested in slam but you want to go to game in either of openers majors you just bid game so one heart, one no trump, two spades, four spades speaks for itself. And that's, a, that's just a sign-off. It's not asking Qubit. Opener's already shown a maximum. So there's no need to muck about here. Any questions about using Levensol after reverse at the two level? Okay, lastly. So this is the last and actually arguably the most complex use of Leb and Sol is, is in any competitive sequence, whether we've opened or whether ops have opened and we've intervened or whether we've opened and they've intervened. Um, and you can, and I do, and and my system does use Levensol very extensively 
in natural competitive sequences. And I'm not talking about sequences where two no trumps already has a defined meaning. So if it goes uh, one heart, one spade interference, two hearts from responder, pass. Two no trumps already has a defined meaning. We've got a suit agreement at the two level in hearts. Two no trumps is, is already a long suit trial bid in spades. So we don't we don't use Levensol here because two no trumps has a defined meaning that isn't related to Levensol. But if it goes, for example, um, um, one heart, one spade interference, two clubs, from responder past two hearts. Now we are actually no, maybe not two clubs, because clubs is always a problem. One heart, one spade interference, two diamonds pass from our right hand opponent, two hearts from us repeating our hearts. Now we are in a competitive sequence at the two level. So if it goes pass from west, he's shown his spades. Uh, sorry, pass from our left-hand opponent. Now we're in a eleven soul situation. If you play this, and there's a whole raft of different nuances depending on whether we go slow or fast, and so on. Um, similar to how it was over reverses in many respects. Um, This this needs an entire lesson just to itself, this use of Levensol. Um And indeed, it's probably something that you won't even pick up in one lesson because there's a lot, there's a lot more to it. Um, but it, this is something I will pick up again later in the series. Um, I'll mention it today because you can have a look at it on the website, on the Levensol page, uh, if you want to start fiddling around with it. But it is a lot more complicated, and you need to think carefully. If you're going to start playing it, you need to think carefully about every single sequence, about what partner could, have, what else partner could have bid, or what else you could bid, and therefore how to best express the hand that you're trying to show. Um, it's because the, the whole thing is much more fluid. But again, I'll come back to that later in the week. Um, let's have a couple of hands practice. If I can just have four volunteers, please, quickly. Fairly quickly, guys, please, otherwise we're not going to have enough time. No? No takers? Thank you, Paul. Anybody else? Oops. Okay, we'll just try and whiz through as many of these quickly uh, as we can. Um,
Um, no. No song, sorry. Eliana, um, don't bid three hearts, please, because it stops us from showing um, what I'm trying to show on this hand. I know at the table you'd probably bid three hearts, or four hearts, or six hearts, but in practice, please just pass. Ellie, just pass here, otherwise 11 soul doesn't apply. Interesting. Okay, um, just claim, um, claim 11 tricks. Okay, uh, any comments on this sequence? I've got one, but uh, I'm sure somebody else who's followed the last few lessons will be able to come up with a comment on this. Okay, it's this. Here, um, North has invited with five card spades. You need to have five card spades to bid a slow three spades. You can't do it with only four. You can argue that that's a weakness, but uh, it's unsafe to do it otherwise. Assuming that South probably has a decent hand for their double. Okay. Um, it's better for... Well, no, we're playing transfer Levensol, not Levensol here. So three diamonds is the fast queue of hearts. So game forcing, no heart stop, four card spades. Whereas the slow three spades can be weaker because it's only invitational, but it is promising five card spades. That's the difference. <laughs> yeah, transfer 11 soul here, guys. So you ended up in the right place. Um, no problem. Try another one. Yes, so is three clubs.
No, it's not a question of being transfer leb. Anything, any fast bid at the three level is a transfer. If you transfer into their suit, then it's the fast qubit of their suit. Right, this is... Douglas, this is not what you're trying to show here. Three diamonds is the fast qubit of hearts. Okay, three diamonds is the fast qubit of hearts, so it's game forcing, showing four card spades, no heart stop. It's totally... If you bid three diamonds, it's invitational in diamonds. Right. If you bid a slow three diamonds. No, I've said if you bid a slow three diamonds. I'm not telling you to bid. You've totally not got the right hand for a three diamond bid here. Douglas. Three diamonds is the fast qubit of hearts. Yeah. A slow three hearts is the slow qubit of hearts. The fact is, you've got a weak hand. Okay. South's got six card hearts. You don't want to play in hearts. You don't have a hand worth a game force. You just want to get out here. So you just bid three clubs now, which is... No, well, you could bid two spades if you want, but better to transfer into one of your four card suits. So, so this is a transfer to diamonds. This is just telling partner to bid three diamonds. Now, back to Ellie. I mentioned when you have a monster hand, and West has such a hand. So they don't want to play in three diamonds here, potentially. If there's, there may be something better. Ellie, you have to you have to bear in mind. Okay, just just um, lead this and claim I don't know eleven tricks. Ellie, just claim eleven tricks. I don't know how many you're going to make. Um, the thing is, West has got a twenty count here. Um, if East has five card diamonds, you could have six diamonds on with minimal values in East. You can't afford, West can't afford to bid three diamonds here over three clubs. I know that's what East is asking, but East doesn't know that you've got a 20 count. So... The thing, you've got to make some kind of a forcing or a forward going move here to try and find out a bit more about East's hand. So why not bid three hearts over three clubs? Which is saying, listen, I've got a monster hand. I don't want to just play in three diamonds. Can you stop the hearts? Yes? And now East is quite happy to bid three no trumps. And that's where you play. Because East has got a great hand for three no trumps. If you've got your monster double. Do you see what I mean, Ellie? This is, this is a time when you can't really afford to just complete the transfer as East requests. You need to do something. It wouldn't be right 
it wouldn't be right to bid three spades because that's now showing a huge hand with long spades. But three hearts.